So hi everyone. You might remember about last January I posted some photos of these two pots on Facebook um, on this experiment that I'm doing with the sand and the gravel and the soldier flies and the worms. And it's been a year now, we're short of three weeks of a year, so I'm going to pull them all apart and show you what the, they're like inside and what's happened. But just to show you what I did, you can see here how I've got a level of gravel, then sand, and then in the centre here I put worms and soldier flies, then I put another layer of gravel and sand, then I filled it up with veggies and I topped it with leaves. And I did exactly the same thing in this other pot here, except I've got the compote in the corner. And when I take this off you'll see the worms in here at the moment, so I've been keeping them covered till the last minute, because as soon as the light hits them they're going to disappear. So here we go. See the worms in there? And it's, it's a bit hot in here in this room, so you can see that it's gone a bit misty. You can see all the worms there? Now, I don't know if you can see, but that there's a layer of gravel there, sand. Then I had the layer of worms and soldier flies. Then the layer of gravel and sand. And then I had the pot in here, which I filled up with all, um, everything. Meat, citrus, onions, oil, dairy, everything. And then I put a few little bits of leaves on top. And I put leaves all in here. And... Within a week, this was nearly half gone, within a week this one smelt so bad I had to pile a whole bunch of grass clippings on it to disguise the smell. But what I think has happened with this one, the worms have not been able to move up through that layer of um, gravel and sand to get to the food. The soldier flies have got in there and decomposed it but the worms haven't been able to get up there. And I found it really interesting that this one smelt more than this one. And this one only had a couple of little leaves on the top of it, hardly anything. So I haven't filled this one up as much because there's been no point, because I'm pretty sure the worms are dead. But this one's been chugging along all year, and I just keep topping it up and topping it up and topping it up. And you can see how the worms have removed that whole layer of gravel and sand there. So they've mingled all that in with their food as they've digested all the waste. And so to me, that's sort of a pretty nice indication that they will improve your bad soil if you put these pots into the ground and you've got the soldier flies coming into the inside of the pot while the worms live on the outside of the pot. But you can clearly see that the worms will come into the pot when that food is ready for them to eat. And I don't think we've got any soldier flies in there at the moment. I turned around. This is so heavy now. It was quite light at the beginning of the year and now it's so dense with all their castings. But you can see again that layer of gravel and sand is practically gone and that layer down the bottom is now starting to change as well. Whereas this one, literally nothing has changed in it, nothing. So let's take it out and I'm just going to move the video down a bit so I can show you, uh, give you a better look. Now there's soldier fly larva in here, can you see that? Oh, teeming with it actually. And I haven't filled this one up for quite a while, so that larva's still living on whatever's in there. So you can see there's still some, um, there's an avocado seed that's quite, not quite decomposed. But interesting that it has decomposed to that level. You see that? And, you know, if that was in the ground and it was still like that, I'd take that and throw that in the bin then. Or mix it into your soil to help aerate your soil. And there's a little cocky, but they don't hurt anyone, so I just leave them in there. And I'm going to empty both of these now and do another test with really heavy clay soil in January to see just... Oh, this is teeming with salt flies. And I'm surprised they're still alive because I haven't put anything in here for such a long time. But this um, soil is very dense. Okay, oops. So there we go, I've hit the sand layer. So there's the sand. No worms have survived that. Ooh, terrible sound. So, okay, there's the gravel layer coming out. Now worms are self-regulating, so they probably ate each other up because they couldn't get any food and now they've all gone. There's definitely none in there and very clearly there's the sand layer below there. I'll just see if I can show you that on the side of the picture there. Yeah, see that? So there's absolutely nothing in there. I'm fairly sure there's no worms anywhere. 
and there's no soldier flies below that layer either and there were a lot of soldier flies in there when I filled it up so it just shows you that worms and even soldier flies cannot move through that um, dry dense layer of sand so and gravel I'll take the, the layer off here and there's a couple of layers that I, as I said, I keep the cardboard on there. Oh, what was that? Oh, just a cocky. Keep the cardboard on there just to keep everything in while I'm at the trade shows. Oh, worms everywhere here. Now, let me see if you can see that in there. Don't know if you can see it, but there's a little worm there. There's a worm there. There's and this, oh, there's worms there. See? So this is still quite dense with worms. Oh, this is very thick worm poo now too. Can you see that? So that just goes to show you how the worms have been able to move in from that layer into the pot and out and improve all this soil up here. And this was all leaves up here. So they have and and grass clippings over the over the year I put grass clippings in I put all kinds of stuff in there to keep it full yeah, can you see that in the video see the worms there and see how quite dense that soil is so I've got to dig down there we go look at that beautiful healthy worms and I put everything in this pot from you know, meat, citrus, onions, oil, dairy, absolutely everything. And that's what I mean about how when you've got filled your pot up with everything, the worms will live in the surrounding soil. Of course, in your garden, they're not going to be as concentrated like this because they're going to move around. But in this pot, of course, they can't go anywhere. So there's a piece of plastic off the, the cardboard that they've cleaned up. Now you can see there's bits of... Um, this is probably from the grass clippings I put in there, bits of grass and everything, twigs and sticks. But again, in your garden, that's perfect, because all those things help aerate the soil. There's a beautiful little worm egg. See, look, they're hatching in that. See that there? Let's see if you can see that. Little tiny worm egg. So, which, oh, there's another one. So they're breeding up nicely in here. Now, yeah, hit gravel there. Gravel and sand, but it's really wet, and I can feel. Oh, there's there's one in it already. Now, see, normally if that was too dry, they couldn't live in that. But because that's nice and wet, they're able to do that. And also, I can feel that sand and gravel. So they have mingled that sand and gravel together, and made it more livable than if it was just a layer of sand and gravel, which it was. So there's a big stick. You can see I put some big things in there. So let's go down to the bit further. Oh, look, still heaps of worms there. Sand and gravel. You can I don't know if you can see that on the video. If I had someone holding the video I could zoom in and and get a close up for you, but it's a bit hard with just me. But I can feel it. I can feel how they've mingled the sand in with the gravel. And I'm down now to that section here where I, this section here where you can see my glove now is where I first added the worm and it was just normal soil and I can feel it's full of gravel and sand. Oh it is. Look at that. Now for something that's that's been stuck in a pot for a year and with no real drainage there's there's a, the tiniest teeniest faintest smell like in, out in the ground, outside, you would, I mean, back here I can't smell it. It's only if I put my nose up to it that I can smell a faint, faint smell. But you'd think it would smell more than that. Oh, now see, I've hit the gravel there. Ooh. Oh, sending shivers up my spine. So they haven't gone down into there, but you can feel how nice and moist that is. But over time, and I mean, they're in a confined spot in here, so they can only do so much, and that would be too wet down there probably for them. But over time, I imagine that they would improve that. I can't see why they wouldn't. Let's have a look at all this. Oh, 
bit more twig. That's from all the grass clippings. You can see I put everything in there. But gives it beautiful aeration. See all the worms in there. And you get the little slaters too, but they can't usually get out of the pot. And if they do, they get eaten by the birds anyway. I don't worry about the slaters. I never worry. I've never had to worry about the ants. Um, there's a little soldier fly right deep down. And the soldier flies, believe it or not, will live in that soil. There's a big one. So that to me is a good result. And that to me just proves that they will move through gravel and sand in the right conditions. You know, I can still feel some gravel and sand. Oh, there's a section of sand. But look, there's a worm on that. So obviously it takes time. They don't do it overnight. But out in the ground would be a different situation because it wouldn't get as damp as this either. This is quite damp. But certainly within that top 30 centimetres, which is the part of the soil that your plants feed on anyway. Oh, there's some more eggs there, two little eggs there. This, I didn't, I don't know what sort of conditions eggs actually um, grow in, but this is quite damp and there's two beautiful little eggs just there. I would have thought they would have grown more in slightly drier conditions, but there you go. And I don't know what that is. It's like some kind of rock or something that's got worms coming out of it. Oh, it's a seed or something. Some kind of a seed. And the worms are munching through it, obviously very slowly. I forgot to show you this bit inside the pot. So this is inside the pot. Oh, look at that. Full of soldier flies. Now there's a tiny bit of a smell here, but remember that this pot's not drained. And it's not bad. And look, there's a whole beetroot. <laughs> But those soldier flies are working their way at that. Funny. Let's have a look down the bottom there. This is the sand, this is the gravel just outside the pot. At the very, very base. Oh, there's a worm in there even. So there you go. I thought that would be too damp. It is a little bit damp, but um, I think with a little bit of drainage. Nice, a little bit of moisture and a little bit of drainage, they would um, fix all that soil up and make it beautiful. Well, thank you for watching, and I'll fill you in on the next one next year.